I'm Adam. And I'm Sonny. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey Sonny, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Wisconsin. Oh really? I wasn't expecting that. Why Wisconsin? As you know, I'm a mouse. Yep. And as you know, mice love cheese. So does my son. And Wisconsin is the largest cheese producing state in the largest cheese producing country. I'm sort of surprised that you wouldn't pick someplace known for a higher quality of cheese like France or Italy. Don't hate on the string cheese. In today's book, we explore the world and maybe beyond. Let's get started. Where in the world are you? By Marie G. Rowe. Where is the cat? Under the wobbly table. Where is the wobbly table? On the blue rug. Where is the blue rug? In the yellow room. Where is the yellow room? Behind the green door. Where is the green door? In the colorful apartment. Where is the colorful apartment? In the pink house. Where is the pink house? On the cheerful street. I think this cat is trying to escape. You mean like a mental escape to get away from it all? No. Because every once in a while you just need to start wandering inside your head. That's what I do a lot in my creative thinking. No, I mean that the cat literally was trying to escape so it doesn't get in trouble for breaking the bowl of fruit. That's not what this book is really about. Where's the cheerful street? Next to the noisy park. Where's the noisy park? In the busy neighborhood. Where's the busy neighborhood? In the crowded city. Where's the crowded city? In the big country. Where's the big country? On the vast continent. Where's the vast continent? Next to the wide ocean. Where's the wide ocean? On the planet Earth. Where's the planet Earth? Spinning around the scorching sun. Holy buckets! It's pretty neat to, to just see it zoom out. I guess it puts things in perspective. The big house doesn't seem so big anymore or the country, or even our world. This may be what God feels like looking down at our world, or the Hubble telescope. Don't be ridiculous. Telescopes don't have feelings. Oh, how silly of me. Where's the scorching sun? Among the twinkling stars. Where are the twinkling stars? In our galaxy, the Milky Way. Where's the Milky Way? In the expanding universe. Where's the expanding universe? Here, here, and here. It's everywhere, including under the wobbly table. The cat is under the wobbly table, on the blue rug, in the yellow room, behind the green door, in the colorful apartment, in the pink house, on the colorful street, next to the noisy park, in the busy neighborhood, in the crowded street, in the big country, on the vast continent, next to the wide ocean, on the planet Earth, spinning around the scorching sun, among the twinkling stars, in our galaxy, the Milky Way, in the expanding universe. Now, where are you? This book makes me a little sad. Why is that? It makes me feel small and insignificant. Small, sure. Insignificant, no way. But there is so much to do and see out there. Exactly. It makes me want to go out and explore, to see parts of the world that I've never been to. To try cheeses in different places. Now you've got it. If you'd like to do something new, how about a giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel? I'm Adam, and I'm Sunny, and this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. The story behind this book. Children were not allowed out in the street during the first strict COVID-19 lockdown here in Spain in 2020. During this time, my son was being homeschooled like many other children, 
and was invited to participate in a group storytelling activity. His story started simply, where's the shopping basket? And gradually it zoomed out from our home, connecting us with the prohibited world outside. I liked it so much that I started to make an illustrated version. Along the way, a black cat, awfully similar to my grandmother's mischievous cat, Timmy, appeared in the story. You wouldn't have it in your hands without the original idea from my son, Valeri, the cheerful support and ideas from my partner, Roger, and my editor, Katie, and the creative and thoughtful art direction from Andy. I have always been a creative person ever since growing up in Sweden, where I was surrounded by books in various languages, beautiful fabrics and art materials. After moving to Barcelona, Spain to study architecture, I started a blog about the fortunes and misfortunes of finding your way in a foreign city. My blog gathered a dedicated following and opened up many doors for me. Eventually, I began to receive commissions for illustrations and print design work. Some years ago, several of my interests came together in my first book, Planet SOS. It has been published in 14 languages and selected by the United Nations Sustainable Development Book Club. I look forward to writing and illustrated many more books in the future. Where in the World Are You is my second book. Did you know map makers included fake towns to catch forgers? Paper towns were fake places added to maps by early map makers in order to dupe forgers into copying them, thereby exposing themselves to charges of copyright infringement. <laughs> 